Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the winner in the woods afghan. This afghan is a wonderful textured pattern with a two row repeat. It measures 47 inches across by 60 inches long. This afghan was made using Premier Puzzle Yarn, so let me tell you everything you're going to need to make your afghan today. To begin our project today, you're going to need eight skeins of the Premier Puzzle. This is 100% acrylic yarn. It's very soft and squishy, very cuddly yarn. It comes in a 328 yard skein, 300 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams, and it's a number five bulky weight yarn. Now this yarn is machine wash cold, tumble dry, and that's why I like it for afghans because you can throw them in the washer and dryer. This yarn has also been tested against 350 harmful substances, so you know that it's excellent yarn against any type of sensitive skin. Now this yarn was made in Turkey and this is color number 1050-03 crossword. Now you can use any color that you wish if you want to see all the Premier Puzzle colorways available. I'll leave a special link in the description box underneath the video. Just click that link and you can see all the other colors available. Now if you want to use a substitute yarn, then make sure that you're looking at the information here on the label and you buy enough yarn to be the equivalent of eight skeins of the puzzle yarn. Remember, it's a five bulky, so you're going to need eight skeins or eight times 328 yards to give you enough yarn to make the afghan. You're also going to need a size 10 and a half K or 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get this afghan started. Now when I join my yarn, I just use a double knot. This is the way my grandmother taught me and this is the way I continue to do it. Now if you have your own preferred way, then you can do it whichever way you prefer. Now somebody asked me, how do you tie a double knot? All I do is wrap my yarn around my hook. You're going to take the yarn over like you're tying your shoe, bring it back underneath, and you're just going to tie a knot and then I just do it a second time. Just do it like you're tying your shoe, wrap your yarn over, pull it under and around, and it just ties a second knot to secure the first knot. And that's how I do it, it's how I've always done it, and it's probably the way I'll continue to do it. So now to start our afghan, we're going to begin, and we need to chain 130 chains. So after you tie your double knot, you're going to have this loop on your hook, and that's where you begin making your chain. You're going to yarn over the hook and pull it through that loop. This creates your first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. So that's one, two, three, four, five, Continue until you have 130 chains, and I'll be back and we'll start row one. I have my chain with 130 chains. Now, I did forget to mention that you can change the size of your afghan by using a stitch multiple of two. You would chain two, four, six, 20, 40, 60, 80. Once you get your chain to the width you want, just measure it, see if that's the size you want, and then you can go ahead and begin your pattern. So again, to change the size of the afghan, use the stitch multiple of two. So now we're ready to begin row one. For row one, we're going to do a very easy row of single crochet. Now this yarn might be a little bit harder to see because I have multi-colors in each chain. So just look at your chains. You're going to skip this first chain. You're going to insert into the second chain and work a single crochet. 
yarn over, pull through that chain, you have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. That's how you make a single crochet. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain. Insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet in each chain across to the very end of your chain and I'll meet you at the end of row one. I'm over at the end of row one. I just worked one single crochet in each chain. We started in the second chain from hook and you should have a total of 129 single crochet stitches. For row two, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip this beginning chain one and you're going to insert your hook right into this first single crochet. And I'm so sorry because it is a little bit harder to see these stitches with this yarn. So this is your chain one and you're just going to go directly below that chain one into that first single crochet. And you can see the top of the stitches where you see that teardrop. That is the top of your stitches. So single crochet into the first stitch. And now we're ready to begin our repeat. So if you need help, just click back on the video to where I say this is the start of the repeat, work until I say this is the end of the repeat, and you're going to repeat this across to the end of the row. Very simple repeat. You're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next single crochet, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Now because this yarn is really making it hard to see the stitches, if you're using this yarn and you're not sure, if you pull on your work, you're going to see these little holes. That is where your stitches are. So just pull slightly and those stitches will open right up. So let's do the repeat again. You're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Again, that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Chain one, skip that next stitch, insert into the next stitch, work a single crochet. Chain one, skip that next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and continue. Again, you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that down to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row two. I'm over at the end of row two. I have two stitches remaining and we have one repeat to go. You're going to chain one, you're going to skip that next stitch, insert into the very last stitch, and I'm going under both of those top two loops, work a single crochet. Now if you're new to crocheting and you have troubles with your ends, then my suggestion is to always put a stitch marker into the last stitch of the row, and then go back to the beginning of your work and put a stitch marker in that very first single crochet of the row. And then that way you're going to know where your last stitch is when you're coming back across. And when you turn your work, you're going to know where your first stitch is. So again, if you're new to crocheting, please use those stitch markers so you have even ends on your afghan. So now we're ready to begin row three you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. We're going to skip our beginning chain one. You're going to insert right at the base of the chain one into that very first single crochet stitch, work a single crochet. 
So what we're going to do to form our texture is we're going to be working behind this chain one space. If we go on this side, your stitch is going to be on the wrong side. We have to keep it on the front of the work. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next single crochet two rows below, but we're going behind this chain one space. So let's go ahead and begin our repeat. You're going to yarn over. You're going to bring your hook from the back to the front underneath the chain one space. Then take the hook part of your hook, grab that single crochet below, and then work your double crochet. Yarn over, pull through that single crochet two rows below. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops. So then when you look at your work, you're going to have your chain one space unworked. You're going to single crochet into the next single crochet on the top current row. Insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do the repeat again. Again, you're going to work a double crochet coming from the back side and then grabbing the single crochet below. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook underneath from the back through that chain one space and then insert from front to back through that single crochet below. Yarn over, pull through that stitch. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your double crochet. Again, the chain one space stays unworked. Single crochet into the next single crochet on the top current row. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. You're going to double crochet into the single crochet two rows below by going from the back to the front, grabbing that single crochet below, and then working your double crochet stitch. Single crochet into the top single crochet of the top current row. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me show you again, if you're not used to working behind the chain one space, I'll go slow. You're going to yarn over the hook, bring your hook from back to front underneath the chain one space, and then just turn your hook and grab the top two loops of that single crochet stitch below. Pull your hook to the back of your work, yarn over, pull through that stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Single crochet into the next single crochet on the top current row. So if you need help, just click back on the video. I'll show you one more time. You're going to yarn over, insert from back to front through that chain one space, then turn your hook and grab the top two loops of the single crochet below, then work your double crochet. Your chain one space stays unworked. Single crochet into the top of the next single crochet of the top current row. Repeat that across to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row three. I'm over at the end of row three. We have two stitches remaining. We have a chain one space and we have our ending single crochet. I always like to start and end the row with you. So for this chain one space, you're going to yarn over, insert underneath the chain one, grab that single crochet below under the top two loops, work your double crochet. You're going to end the row by working a single crochet into this last stitch. Insert under the top two loops of that last single crochet, work a single crochet stitch. Now again, if you're new to crocheting, make sure you put a stitch marker and carry those stitch markers up into the first and last stitch of each row so your end stays straight. So row three is finished and now we're going to begin row four. So for row four, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Now when you look at your work for row four, you're going to start seeing your textured stitches. 
Hopefully you can see that okay. You can see those double crochets popping up with your single crochet in between. We're going to skip the beginning chain one. You're going to drop down to the base of the chain one, insert into that very first single crochet stitch under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And again, move your stitch marker up to that first stitch if you're new to crocheting. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. So very simple repeat for row four. We're going to chain one. You're going to skip the next double crochet, insert into the next single crochet, which is this short stitch in between the double crochet stitches, insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Chain one skip the next double crochet and single crochet into this next single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it a couple more times together. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the top of the next single crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, insert into the next single crochet, work a single crochet. Let's do it one more time. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, insert into the next single crochet under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet and you're going to repeat that across to the end of row four and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row four. We have two stitches remaining. You're going to have a double crochet and you're going to have a single crochet stitch. So to end the row you're going to do your final repeat. You're going to chain one, skip the next double crochet, insert under the top two loops of that last single crochet stitch, work a single crochet. Now rows one through four are our base rows. Row five and six will be our repeat rows. So even though it's a two row repeat, you still have to do the first four rows as the base row. And then the pattern begins with row five and row six as the repeats. So let's go ahead and begin row five. Row five, we're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. We're going to skip the beginning chain one, insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet stitch, work a single crochet. And this is the time if you're new to crocheting, move that stitch marker up to that first stitch of the row. So now we're going to begin our repeat by working our double crochet behind the chain one space. But for this row, we're going to be working into the double crochet stitch instead of the single crochet like we did below. We're now working into a double crochet stitch. So let's go ahead and start our repeat. You're going to yarn over insert from back to front underneath that next chain one space and if you have to use your fingernail open it up turn your hook and grab the top two loops of that double crochet stitch below make sure you have both of those top two loops on your hook i only have one i need to grab the next one work your double crochet Now you're going to single crochet into the top of the next single crochet on the top current row. Insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, insert from back to front underneath that chain one space, turn your hook and grab the top two loops of that double crochet stitch below making sure you have both loops yarn over pull through that stitch yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops single crochet into the next single crochet on the top current row 
insert under the top two loops, work your single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook from back to front through the chain one space, turn that hook, grab the top two loops of that double crochet stitch below, making sure you have both loops of that top of that stitch on your hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to single crochet into the next single crochet of the top current row. Insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it one more time together. Again, this is the repeat. Yarn over, insert from back to front through the chain one space. Turn that hook and grab the top two loops of the double crochet stitch below and work your double crochet. Single crochet into the next single crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue your repeat to the end of row five and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of row five. I have one repeat to go. So we have a chain one space and you have a single crochet at the end of the row for your last repeat. You're going to double crochet going from back to front under the chain one space, turn your hook, grab the top two loops of that stitch below, work your double crochet. You're going to single crochet into the last single crochet of the row, insert under the top two loops, work a single crochet. And again, if you're new to crocheting, move your stitch marker up to the last stitch of the row. So row five is finished, and now we're ready to begin row six. For row six, you're going to chain one, and you're going to turn your work. You're going to skip the beginning chain one, insert under the top two loops of that very first single crochet, work a single crochet. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip that next double crochet and single crochet into that next single crochet stitch. It's the smaller stitch between the two larger ones. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Chain one. Skip that next double crochet and single crochet into the next single crochet. Insert under the top two loops, work your single crochet. Let's do it again. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. So go ahead and continue. You're going to chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet into the next single crochet and you're going to repeat that repeat across your row to the end of the row and I'll meet you at the end of row six. I'm over at the end of row six. I have two stitches remaining. You're going to have a double crochet and you're going to have your ending single crochet. So I'm going to finish with one more repeat. We're going to chain one. You're going to skip that next double crochet and insert into the last single crochet going under both of those top two loops. Work a single crochet. So row six is finished and now to all my new crocheters make sure you're moving those stitch markers up to the first and last stitch of each row. Now to continue working on your afghan for row seven through 165 you're going to repeat rows five and six 
until you reach row 165. You will be ending on your double crochet row of row 5 of the repeat pattern. So again, continue working on your afghan, repeating rows 5 and row 6 for your pattern until you have a total of 165 rows and you'll be ending on row 5 which is this double crochet row and you're going to be ending on the wrong side of your work. So go ahead and continue and I'll meet you at the end of row 165. I'm over at the end of row 165 and we're ending on the wrong side of our work. Now the afghan is quite large so I cannot get the whole afghan into the viewfinder of the video. So again you're ending on the wrong side and you're ending with that double crochet single crochet row. So let me zoom back up. So again we're over at the end of row 165 you ended with that double crochet single crochet row and now we're getting ready to start our border. Now because we're on the wrong side we're going to go ahead and start the border and turn our work. So to begin round one of the border you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your afghan to the right side of the work. Our beginning chain three counts as the first stitch of the round. So we just worked a chain three and it's right above the first single crochet stitch. So your next stitch you're going to go into the top of the double crochet. So for the top of the afghan we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across double crochet into the top of the next double crochet stitch going under the top two loops work a double crochet then you're going to double crochet into the next single crochet which is the short stitch between the two double crochet double crochet under the top two loops of that next single crochet and you're just going to repeat double crochet into the next double crochet double crochet into the next single crochet and again we're just working one double crochet in each stitch across the top of your afghan double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch and remember go under both of those top two loops work your double crochet so go ahead and continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across to your next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner of round one of our border. We just worked one double crochet in each stitch across. I have one stitch remaining. We have a single crochet right here as the last stitch at the corner. So I'm going to work a double crochet under the top two loops of that last stitch across the top of our afghan. Now we're going to chain one for the corner. So now to work down the length of our afghan, we're going to be decreasing some stitches because we have single crochet row end stitches and if you work the double crochet in each row end stitch what's going to happen is you're going to start getting a ruffle. It's going to be too many stitches going down the side and it'll have a wavy look. So we're going to decrease some stitches and just tighten that afghan up so it just has a more professional look to your border. So we're going to begin and you're going to start into the first row end stitch. So your last stitch made ended in that last stitch and we want to go into the same last stitch because this is the first row end stitch going down your length. So yarn over, insert right into the side or into the same space. It's going to act as the side stitch as the first row going down the length. Work your double crochet. So if you're new to crocheting and you're having trouble figuring out where your stitches are, you can just pull your work and you can see here's a row end stitch, here's a row end stitch, 
here's a row and stitch and you can just see that your hooks going to automatically go into those holes so let's continue with our border we're going to double crochet into the next row and stitch and now we're going to double crochet two together over the next two row and stitches you're going to yarn over insert into the next row and stitch and again your hook will automatically find that hole yarn over pull through that stitch you have three loops pull through two loops only you're leaving the last loop of that stitch on your hook and that loop stays on your hook now we're going to do the same thing into the next row and stitch you're going to yarn over insert into the next row and stitch yarn over and pull through you now have four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two loops only you're leaving the last loop on the hook and that loop stays on the hook you have your two double crochet leaving the last loop on your hook and you have a total of three loops you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook you just double crocheted two together it decreased one stitch and now it turns into just one stitch when you do the next round so now let's go ahead and begin our repeat for working down the length we're going to work one double crochet into the next row and stitch double crochet into the next row and stitch and now we're going to work a double crochet two together over the next two row and stitches yarn over insert into the next row and stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops only you made your double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook we need to do that one more time yarn over insert into the next row and stitch yarn over and pull through you have four loops yarn over and pull through two loops only you have your two double crochet made leaving the last loop on your hook and you have a total of three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook that is the end of the repeat so let's do it a couple more times together again you're going to double crochet into the next row and stitch and if you look you're going to see that hole open right up insert into that row and stitch work a double crochet double crochet into the next row and stitch and now we're going to double crochet two together over the next two row and stitches yarn over insert into the next row and stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops only you made a double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook and you have two loops yarn over insert your hook into the next row and stitch yarn over and pull through you have four loops yarn over and pull through two loops only you made your two double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook you have a total of three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and that is the end of the repeat so I'll show you one more time you're going to double crochet into the next row and stitch double crochet into the next row and stitch and now we're going to double crochet two together over the next two row and stitches yarn over insert into the next row and stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops only you made a double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook yarn over insert back into that next row and stitch yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two loops only you made your second double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook you have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and again that is the end of the repeat so go ahead and continue you're going to work one double crochet in each of the next two row and stitches and then you're going to double crochet two together over the next two stitches if you need help just click back on the video so go ahead and repeat that down your length until you get to within the last row 
and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. I have one row end stitch remaining. I just worked down my length. You're going to end your last repeat with double crocheting two together and then having one row end stitch remaining. So we're going to go ahead and you're going to work one double crochet into this last row end stitch. And then you want to chain one to form your corner. And then we're just going to swing our afghan around and we're going to start working across the bottom of our foundation chain. But when you look at your work, you're going to have single crochets running across the bottom of your work. You'll see these up here. Below that, you're going to see more open spaces. You want to work above these larger open spaces. And if you look at your work, you can see how these chains will open up. So let's go ahead and begin. You're going to double crochet into that first chain where the single crochet is, right into the base of that single crochet stitch, going through the foundation chain. Double crochet into the next stitch, and again, do not go in these big holes. Work above them into the chain right here. You're going to see that open up. Hopefully you can see that right here. You're going to double crochet. double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain. Just take your time and just find that chain double crochet into the next chain and again just follow that single crochet down to the base of the stitch and work in the foundation chain of that beginning chain. And that's all you have to do across the bottom of your afghan. So again work one double crochet in each chain across at the base of each single crochet stitch across to the next corner and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next corner. We just worked one double crochet in each chain across. This is what your work should look like. And now we have one side to go on our afghan to finish round one. We're going to be working down the length of our afghan into the row end stitches, and we're going to do it the same as we done on the opposite side. So we're going to chain one to form our corner, and then you're just going to swing your afghan around and start working down the length. We're going to begin by working one double crochet into the first row end stitch. Now you're working in the chain, so you want to go into this first row end stitch where you see that opening. So double crochet into the first row end stitch. And again, when you're working on your afghan, if you just pull it, you can see how these row end stitches open up. You can see them right on the edge of the afghan. You're going to double crochet into the next row end stitch. Now we're going to double crochet two together over the next two row end stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You worked one double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You're going to yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull back through that stitch. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your two double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. You have three loops. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. And that is the end of the repeat. So let's do it again. Double crochet into the next row end stitch. Double crochet into the next row end stitch. And now we're going to double crochet two together over the next two row end stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through two loops only. 
You made one double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your two double crochet, leaving the last loop of each stitch on your hook. You have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. I'll show you one more time and then you can continue on your own. Again, you're going to double crochet into the next row end stitch. Double crochet into the next row end stitch. And now we're going to double crochet two together over the next two row end stitches. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made one double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook. Yarn over, insert into the next row end stitch, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops only. You made your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook, and you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue the repeat. Double crochet in each of the next two row end stitches. Then work two double crochet together over the next two row end stitches. If you need help, just click back on the video, continue down your length until you get to within one row of the corner, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my last corner of round one. I just finished my last repeat of where we worked one double crochet in each of the next two row end stitches. And you're going to end your repeat with two double crochet together over the next two row end stitches. But when you look at your work, you're still going to have one row end stitch remaining. And again, I'm so sorry, it is really hard to see the stitches with this yarn, but right below your beginning chain three, you're going to have a single crochet row end stitch. You want to finish the round by working a double crochet right into that last row end stitch. You're going to chain one for your corner and then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three. So if you're not sure because of the yarn, then find your first double crochet stitch and it's going to be the top chain right beside that first double crochet stitch. Insert into the top of that beginning chain three and slip stitch your round together. Round one is finished. Now we're ready to begin round two. Round two, we're going to begin with the chain three. This beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet. So you can follow it down and see how that acts as the first stitch of round two. We're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to your next corner chain one space. Double crochet into the next stitch and again go under the top two loops, work your double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across to your next corner chain one space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my first corner chain one space of round two of our border. We just worked across the top of our afghan and you worked one double crochet in each stitch across to your corner. Once you get to your corner, we're going to work five double crochet into the corner chain one space. Yarn over, insert into the corner chain space, work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and 
and five, your corner is made. Now we're going to start and we're going to work down the length of our afghan so you can just swing your afghan around. We're going to continue and work in the same method. You're going to work one double crochet in each stitch down the length and when you get to the corner you're going to work five double crochet. So pull those stitches back, make sure you're getting into that first double crochet stitch work a double crochet. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch and remember go under the top two loops work your double crochet. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work one double crochet in each stitch down the next side of your afghan until you get to your corner chain one space. When you get to the corner chain one, work five double crochet into that corner chain one space. You're going to repeat that around the remaining sides of your afghan and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two of our border. We worked one double crochet in each stitch round and then in your corner chain one spaces you worked five double crochet. You're ending the round with five double crochet into that corner chain one space and now we're just going to join our round by coming up to the top of that beginning chain three. Count up one, two, three insert your hook into the top chain of that beginning chain three and slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. So I'm just going to fasten off my work and I like to leave a longer length because I use my yarn needle to weave this in on the back. Just take it and thread it through your yarn needle, weave it through the matching colors, then bring it back a second time. And if you even have enough for a third time, just weave that through a third time and it really helps secure your yarn. Now when I fasten off, I chain two, one and two. Pull my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And when you weave that in on the back, you're not even going to see your knot. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends and I'll be back and I'll show you the finished afghan. Our afghan is finished. This is what your afghan should look like. I want to thank everybody for stopping by today and crocheting along with me. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here at Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, happy crocheting everyone!